So Rob Down Thompson bad. is going to have he's going to be the manager of the Phillies next year. I highly doubt they announce any sort of extension. Um, he is going to enter a lame duck year, uh, I would assume, without an hmm. extension, and they take it from there. Uh, simple as that, right? Like, don't overthink yeah. it if you have a year left. And, you know, it's nothing against Rob. Now, before we get to Dave, I find myself almost feeling sympathetic for Rob. Excuse me? Yeah. Why? Um, because I don't think he's the problem. I, I think his players failed him. And I didn't think I would be here a week after, you know, less than a week. What what day did they get removed again? Wednesday. But Wednesday? We're not talking. Less yeah, than a week like removed from the end of the season in which the expectations were at an all-time high. I, I just kind of feel bad for him. Everything he did failed. Uh, and that's how I feel about Rob Thompson right now. Mm -hmm. I think most of his stuff, you know, outside of like a Jeff Hoffman, which we discussed in 25 minutes and up and down and like mm -hmm. some minor stuff, mostly everybody just came up small for him. Like they just, they just failed at every turn. So I, I really, I sit here and I go, man, Rob Thompson couldn't have, he couldn't do anything right. And that wasn't his fault. So that's where I feel, that's how I feel about Rob Thompson five days removed from an epic collapse. Okay, well, I'm feeling a little bit like Elsa over here. There's just ice in my veins nice. right now. Nice, go very, for it. Have at very it. Very cold-hearted. Make us I've a new castle. I've got no sympathy for anybody. I do. I, maybe not I'm getting old Not a single person. And not lame. Dave, not Rob, not Bryce, not anyone. Not Liam is the only person I might have sympathy for, and all the, all the other babies across this team. I have no sympathy for anyone because everybody plays a part, manager included. Rob is not excluded. And that rhymes. And to be honest, although it's not his fault that they could not hit, it's not his fault the bullpen quite literally exploded, it is his team. And at the end of the day, this team that had a lot of talent did not get anywhere close to what the bar was. They underachieved. <laughs> Whatever you're this smiley could say. I just was an idiot friend of mine. Just <laughs> a stupid Whatever. This team had such high expectation and then the fall so so incredibly short and an embarrassing way to get eliminated by the Mets. I feel bad for no one. Everybody played a part. And you know what, Rob? You're going to have everybody's demeanor. support. I'll tell you that. Well, my issue More people is, feel like you than they do yeah, me. Yeah, and, that's and I, I'm like, totally where is this get coming that. from? I totally Why get are you it. fuzzy wuzzy over here? Uh, Rob I just, Thompson and his calm, cool demeanor is contagious. And it has completely look, flatlined. Gotten ejected. This team has no pulse. I get this it. This team has no, no energy. They all look dead in the face like the lights are off and nobody's home no lights are even on and the fact that rob thompson just sits there chewing on whatever he's chewing on and just kind of watching they Look, all I, do the same thing i, I thought he should have gotten so ejected I, in that game on bones hit like well, I, yeah, I get you on I the like to see thing. a little i don't need to see i can i don't need rah rah coaches that are like there's some coaches that are just too over the top and i'm not gonna say any names because nobody deserves to catch a straight today but for Rob, I need him to be a little bit more, like dial it up. And to be honest, I said this before. It's kind of like if you're – he's gentle parenting over here, and I need him to say no. I need him to put his foot down. You need a boomer parent tomorrow. to come in I need and a little bit of boomer. I need a little, I need a, every <laughs> once in a while, I need him to cross out of that gentle parenting and give us a little bit boomer, and I need you to threaten and bring out – a flip-flop, a switch, or whatever. Because if you were to do that, can you imagine the response that he'd get from this team? Everybody is so used to Rob saying nothing. So if at some point he randomly just flips the switch and goes from gentle parenting to... To John Tortorella, to, as K-Red says. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, then I, I think everybody would like, oh, shoot. I don't think that can work because, you ha like... Uh, all right, we're going cross sport analogies now. Yesterday, Nick Sirianni so said... cross sport analogies. That, you know, the players have told me to be more of myself. So, like, Rob Thompson can't go fire and brimstone now because it would be so out of character. That's part of the issue. And I don't need him to be that every day. I think he just needs to give us a little bit more. Like, can we get stern? Can we get a little more bass in your voice? Can we get a little bit, maybe some furrowed brows? I don't need him to be like... He's Canadian. They're think, pretty gentle. Ah, I know. And all the Canadians <laughs> I know are that way. Yeah, but so nice. I don't care. You have a job to do. Your team is falling short. And you're not doing your part. So everybody's got to take a look in the mirror. And when you look at that man in the mirror, Rob, I, what could you have done differently? And I think it actually started before we even got to the playoffs because this team has been lackluster the entire second half of this season. What happened in the playoffs was no surprise. This was the team's identity for half of the season.